Welcome back, everyone. FinTech API programs that are looking to increase API adoption face two big challenges. The high cost of supporting developers when they're onboarding, as well as once those developers are integrating, those integrations dragging on for months. Both of those challenges can result in negatively impacting your revenue growth. But what if AI could help us solve those two challenges, and you didn't have to hire a team of AI experts and engineers to do it at your company? I'm here today to show you API Copilot, the newest feature of API-Matic. API-Matic has been helping companies like Visa, PayPal, and uh, Maxio optimize and maximize their API adoption through their developer experience platform, which includes SDKs, code samples, guided walkthroughs, and now AI assistance. I, th I thought it'd be fun to show you today uh, what the product looks like for our customers. So Maxio is a customer of API Matics. We have, they are a billing subscription platform. You might know them by their former name, Chargeify. And it has everything you would expect from a developer portal. It's got your getting started guide, how to authenticate, and it has every single API endpoint clearly documented and all the different properties on each object all documented for you, as well as a nice curl command on the right side. And this is a nice little feature. For those non-technical users, they can try out your API right from the documentation when they're evaluating you. Now, the problem is this is where the developer experience often ends for a lot of API programs. At API-Matic, we think speaking the language of your developers is really important. That's why we support seven different programming languages, as you can see across the top here. And let's just say I'm a Java developer. I can come in here, I can click on the Java language, and the entire portal pivots around that. Now, the code samples on the right that used to be curl are now Java. And if I go over here and click Get SDK, it gives me instructions on how to install that dependency and start integrating with your API using production-level code. But I'm here to show you API Copilot, so let me click on the little icon down here on the bottom. I've got four predefined prompts that we think developers might want to use. You can customize that to be whatever you want. In this case, I want to understand how does authentication work, and I don't want to go digging for that information. Here, a, uh, the API Copilot explains um, what kind of security we're using, which is basic auth, and gives me a curl command and a link to more information. I'm going to clear that out of there. Let's ask it something a little bit more complex. How can I create a product under a product family that doesn't exist? Now, it's generating code for me, and this code is coming based off of the SDKs that we've generated for Maxio using their API definition. So if you're familiar with OpenAPI or Swagger or your engineering team are, all they have to do is provide that to API-Matic, and we can create this experience for your APIs as well. If I scroll up, I get a step-by-step -step explanation of what the code is doing. And if I come up here, I can see that it's generated idiomatic Java code for me. So I can scroll through. I can see it's creating a brand new product family, and then it's uh, using that product family to create my new product. But let's face it, developers want to ask their own questions. So let me ask one to API Copilot. How can I create a new customer named Michael Scott? Oops. And um, subscribe him to our premium paper product subscription with a 50% discount. Well, why the discount? Well, because we know Michael Scott. We know he's the best boss in the world. And so we want to give him something a little bit extra in his subscription. So this code does not exist anywhere in our developer portal. The AI is synthesizing it from that idiomatic code that API-Matic generates for you. So you know you're with confidence you're giving developers correct production-grade code. Now, if I scroll up, 
it explains to me what steps were taken. And if I scroll through this code, I can see it initializes my client. Step one, create a new customer, Michael Scott. I see that they are CCing the assistant to the regional manager, so I'm assuming that's Dwight. This is Dunder Mifflin. It's in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Our AI is well-versed in the office. And uh, we create a subscription with that credit card and, of course, apply a 50% discount. But what's the biggest problem with AI and code? Hallucinations. So let me ask it a question it shouldn't know an answer to. How can I create a payment using the Taylor Swift API? Now, we all know Taylor Swift does not have a payment gateway API, at least not yet. And so our AI is thinking about this, and it says, sorry, I can only provide information about Maxio. This is how we're reducing the chance for hallucination is by putting guardrails around our copilot so that it only answers questions about your API, or in this case, Maxio's API. So if you're looking to increase and maximize API adoption, and you're thinking about building SDKs, a developer portal, we can automate that for you at API-matic, and we can also include some AI assistance for your developer community. And I thought I'd share uh, a fun update, which was yesterday. PayPal launched with their brand new server-side SDKs built with API-matic. And if you think your API is ready for AI and SDKs, come over to apimatic.io and go under Solutions and try Score My Open API. We'll create a full audit report to let you know if you are SDK and AI ready, and if not, help you fix that. Thank you.